Wayne Goss is dabbling in the complexion world, so you know I had to pick it up. I am so excited. This is so different from what he's ever launched before. So I did from Beautylish pick up the Wayne Goss The Luxury Cream Foundation. Unfortunately, I do not have the applicator or the powder to review today because when I ordered this, I was so hyped for the foundation itself that I was like really rushing to get it. I was out and the wife where I was at was so terribly terribly slow it wasn't updating that the powder was available so I had to go <laughs> so I had to just go with this so I'm waiting to see the reviews on the powder to decide if I want to pick that up but for now I did just want to have the foundation at least because this way I can wear it with my other products that I typically use and that way I can let you know how the foundation itself actually works so those of you who do have the powder and applicator please let me know down below if I need to pick it up but let's focus on the foundation this is currently available on the beauty lish website it is $38 you do get one ounce of product so that is very standard for foundations $38 I mean that's in between high-end and luxury there are 12 shades in the range if you watch his video he pretty much explained it's a lot of money to create a very large shade range so 12 was going to be the base and he hopes to add more later on in the future I ended up picking shade number nine so I hope that this one works out for me when you order the product this is the box that it's going to come in it's very simple the product itself is made in the USA and it has a 24 month shelf life. If you need to look at the ingredients or anything, feel free to pause right here. Online, this is Eulish says this is a classic cream foundation with a satin finish for smooth, seamless skin. If you watch Wayne Goss's video, you're able to get pretty much full, full coverage, enough to cover a tattoo, but being that it is a cream product, you are able to blend it out to be more sheer as well. So I do like cream foundations for that aspect as well. I feel like you really do have full control over how much coverage that you do get. And by the way, if you've never ordered from Beautylish before, that's the only retailer that does carry Wayne Goss, and they are awesome. The shipping is super fast. Everything always comes well packaged from them. Customer service is fantastic. They're one of my favorite retailers to order from. So here is what the foundation itself was going to come in. It is plastic with a silver cap. The bottom is going to tell you what shade you have and all of the extra details that you might need. You open it up and here is the product itself. You can see I haven't opened it. I'm a little nervous. I think this will be my color, but we will see. Let's swatch it. Oh, it's definitely quite creamy. Here's how it looks. Let's see the swatch. Seems a little pinky. The shade that I got is described as a light medium with neutral undertones and I'm seeing shades 9 to 12 are all out of stock. So starting from my shade to lighter, you're going to have to wait for a restock but the rest of the shades are available. My plan is to do half of my application with the brush that I've been loving and then the other half with a beauty sponge. So let's get started with a beauty sponge. I just have a damp beauty blender and for my skin prep I wanted to keep it very simple something that wasn't going to mess with longevity or finish of the foundation so I just used my Laneige cream skin mist to hydrate the skin this is really beautiful it's a moisturizer in a bottle and I love how it moisturizes my skin I'm going to turn the brightness down a couple notches I know it's kind of dark but I want you to be able to see my pores see my freckles see my discoloration and see how this product does so I'm just twisting my beauty blender in here. I did not press too hard. So we'll start off right here. I had a little small breakout a couple weeks ago. Nice, nice. Now with a sponge, you're not going to get a crazy amount of coverage, which I really like because if you go in really heavy with a cream foundation, a lot of times you will be able to get too much coverage. But if you over apply a product, a lot of times it just won't wear or look as pretty. Okay, so let's get this around the nose. This is blending beautifully. It's applying beautifully. Right here, I would say with a couple very light twists in the product itself, I got about a medium coverage. You can see there is a pretty satin glowy finish to the skin. Everything looks evened out. This looks really nice. It has a very, very skin-like finish, you know? It doesn't really blur the pores or anything, but it sits 
very pretty over them. I it wouldn't say it emphasizes anything unflattering. I'm gonna stop right here. I think for me, this is the perfect amount of coverage. We're gonna play a little bit around with the capabilities of coverage on this side of my face. So I'm gonna warm it up with my finger and I'm gonna spread it over my cheeks. I wouldn't say full, completely full, like tattoo coverage, but you can get a, a relatively full coverage with this. I don't know how well that will wear. Typically, the more you apply, the thicker it is, the less pretty it wears. So I'm gonna apply this the way that I would apply most of my foundations with a brush. I like to use my finger to spread out nice, even, thin layer over the face. By the way, if you do have my skin tone and use me for shade match, shade number nine worked out great. It does have like a, a tiniest, tiniest hint of pink, but I do have more of a neutral undertone and it still looks good. So I'm using my Rare Beauty Foundation brush to blend this out. This is one of my all time favorite foundation brushes of the moment. I think it does a beautiful job of blending out the product without leaving any streaks. I'm just gonna push this into the skin. I was worried that this being a cream foundation, it would look too thick. Think KVD Good Apple Foundation. That's another cream foundation that can be really thick really quickly and just not look good over time. That foundation, the KVD, has a lot more coverage a lot more impact. This is definitely more natural. Okay, I'm gonna apply a little bit more right here. Okay, I'm gonna do a second coat over the areas of my skin that I feel like could use it. And it's blending out really easily, you guys, which I really like. Yeah, for me, this isn't hitting me as a foundation that I would say has really full coverage, but it has like a very nice medium natural finish to it. So here is how it looks. When I did apply a second layer, it did build up the coverage a little bit more, but nothing crazy. What do you guys think? I like both methods of application, but I think I'm a little more partial to the way that the sponge applied. I feel like I got a little bit more out of it. And I just like the way that it looks better. So here is our plan of attack. I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna use tried and true products that I know how they work and react with other foundations. And then for color products, I'm playing with the new ColourPop Winnie the Pooh collection. So I will have that link down below. I will have timestamps. I'm gonna fast forward through me doing my makeup, but if you're not interested, go to the next timestamp. But if you want to see me apply my makeup for the rest of the day, keep watching. Oh, and before I get into the makeup application, I've done my brows. So the makeup has been sitting for five minutes. I'm noticing that this does not dry down. Most cream foundations don't. I'm not surprised by this, but I just wanted to let you know if you're wearing a mask or for whatever reason, not transfer proof at all. Uh, definitely want a little bit of powder if you're going to be wearing anything that's going to be hitting your face. Completed makeup looks like this. Side note, the ColourPop Winnie the Pooh collection is so cute. I had to do a honey inspired eye with that palette. And it was very, very nice quality for ColourPop, you know. I used the Winnie the Pooh highlight, super cute. I have one of the glosses on, so I had fun with that collection. But here is how the makeup is looking. The skin looks really great. If you have dry skin like myself, you are really going to enjoy the finish of this foundation because even though I did put a little bit of powder on top, my skin does not look dry or pow powdered at all. I do worry about those of you who have an oily complexion, you might want to definitely prep the skin on that day, 
powder well, but for me, I'm loving the way this foundation looks. It's more dewy on my skin than I suspected. I feel like I really have a glow, even right here on the chin where I don't have any other product. I can see a little bit of that glow, but I like it. I think it looks really healthy. This is a really great everyday finish. Looks quite skin-like, but still gives a little bit of coverage. I'm definitely feeling this foundation right now. The only things that I would say that I noticed right away is that it doesn't set down even though I have a little bit of powder my, on my skin. I feel like it really isn't that set down. So if I'm wearing a mask, I probably won't reach for this foundation. And you know, the claims that it's full coverage, maybe I still just can't get over how much coverage the KVD Good Apple foundation has, but this is not nearly as much coverage, which I don't think is a bad thing. I, with, I definitely think you can still get a medium to full coverage with this, but it's quite easy to keep it quite natural. So here we are. I'm gonna be wearing this for the rest of the day. I'm going to pop on in a second to show you what this looks like in front of natural lighting on my iPhone, but I'm really loving how skin-like this is looking. It is beautiful. All right, I will catch up with you guys in a few hours. I'm using the back camera of my iPhone in front of the window, and here is a close-up of how everything is looking. It doesn't look too heavy at all. It just looks really healthy, but my skin looks super even, so there still is some good coverage to it. I really hope this wears well, because I'm into this. All right, wear time update. It's been about four hours. A little over since I first put on the foundation and I can definitely tell it's not gonna be one of my trusty long wearing foundations. I think for future use I probably will prep with a primer that is a little bit more long wearing and use my products that tend to suck up oil better and make foundations more long lasting. I still think it looks really nice. You can see a little bit of oil building up here and you can see it it wasn't kind to my smile lines, but honestly, it's better than some other foundations. I am liking the way that this is looking. It doesn't feel super lightweight, at least with the amount of foundation that I applied, I can feel it, but it doesn't feel heavy either. No, but I, I still actually am really liking the way it looks. Even Jose, my husband, said he liked the way this looks, and he doesn't know anything, but like, don't tell him. <laughs> he just looked at me, <laughs> he heard me say that. But anyways, I think it looks really, really good, but I can definitely tell it's not going to be a long wearing foundation on me and two if you have oily skin i don't know you guys you definitely need to do the proper skin prep i think when i use this tomorrow i would do a different skin prep to see if that changes it but it still looks really good i'm a little worried for four hours for now but I still am really liking it at this point. All right, guys, so it is about 11 o'clock, so I am doing my final check-in for the day. It's been the full eight hours. My final thoughts on the Wayne Goss, the Luxury Cream Foundation. I really, really, really like this. I like the way that it looks. I mean, my face does not look bad. Definitely, she looks a little oily, but I feel like it's nothing. A quick touch-up powder couldn't have fixed literally a few hours ago. I mean, I don't touch up really for my foundation foundation reviews, but for not being touched up, I love how smooth my skin looks. I'm definitely oily. Proper skin prep, I think, would do me well, as well as a midday touch up, but as soon as I put powder on, I just feel like everything looks really good. If we want to get close here, you can definitely see the oil collecting around here. My smile lines aren't bad, but it did go into them. But I mean, those are lines on my face. I, <laughs> I don't know what else to say they're going to be here. But this quick little powder refresh is a savior. I feel like the foundation looks almost as good as new eight hours later. So I'm not going to go to this foundation if I know I am walking out in the heat all day and my makeup's going to be on for hours. This is not a foundation that I'm going to trust for longevity, but in terms of every day, I think it is really beautiful and it's held up well enough. So overall, on my first thoughts, at least with my dry skin, I am very, very happy with this foundation. I think it is beautiful. I'm looking forward to continue wearing this. Keep in mind, today is the only first time that I tried it, so I will certainly keep you guys updated if anything changes. But the first impressions here is really really positive. It hasn't broken up around my nose weird like a lot of foundations do. This is really like a luxury cream foundation. So if you are looking for something that's a, 
in between medium to full coverage, but you can also definitely get a lot less coverage. I think this is something that's skin-like with a little bit of a more satin to glowy finish. I think this is going to be the one for you. In terms of how I said it felt a little tacky and not tacky but sticky on the skin just like it never dried down. It really never did dry down but it's not anything I'm bothered by. I did wear sunglasses earlier and it did kind of right here leave the sunglass lines but nothing bad. This is a good foundation. I recommend this if you're interested. Again if you guys tried the powder let me know if I need to get the powder. Maybe the those two work, work in conjunction beautifully with each other. And if you have oily skin and you have tried this foundation, please tell me down below how this worked out for you. I will pin the first comment that I see that talks about how it worked on their oily skin. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for liking this video and being subscribed to me. Have a good one.